Sure. The Discovery Museum began about 18 years ago on the Old Town Winchester Pedestrian Walking Mall. Three local ladies really had a vision to create a children's discovery museum here in Winchester, not just for the children of Winchester and Frederick County, but really children across the state, children that are visiting us from local, you know, surrounding states, and we actually have visitors from out of the country. And the, the purpose of the museum is to provide an educational experience that's hands-on, interactive, um, focusing on the sciences, mathematics, the arts, the humanities. Um, it's a place where visitors of all ages really can come and enjoy a, imaginative play. After um, about 17 years in our old location, the Discovery Museum just recently renovated this old building here in the downtown area and moved to almost 19,000 square feet um, on four levels. We're standing on our outdoor sky level and um, we have three indoor levels. Every level has different interactive areas for kids. Um, we have HealthWorks, Paleontology Park, the Moccasin Trail, we have a Discovery Studio, and we host artisans and residents. And the outdoor sky level is a beautiful place. Families love to come up here and enjoy this amazing view of all the different downtown Winchester rooftops. Um, and we also allow folks to rent the museum to have their own private events here. So this is really an exciting new chapter in the Discovery Museum's life, and the community has embraced this museum from the very beginning, and certainly continues to do so through our generous donors, local businesses, lots of organizations. It's really the generosity of the donors that have made this, this organization possible. The families and the school kids here in our community really love and have embraced the Discovery Museum. We host hundreds and hundreds of children every year on field trips here. We go out to the local schools. We partner with local businesses. Uh, Valley Health, our local hospital system, other businesses, our partners, and it's really just an amazing multi-generational hub within the community. Um, and, and I think people are just excited that the Discovery Museum is growing and uh, they see this as a real gem in their downtown area. Since we've moved to our new location, the Discovery Museum has been able to add an, an amazing amount of new programming. We're going to have astronomy programming here on our sky level. We offer, for example, merit badges in scouting. We are going to be able to open up the museum to local businesses to have... Oops, since we opened here at our new location, we've been able to increase and expand the programming that we've offered. We're doing um, a fun program called Yoga Art, which is yoga on the sky level and mixed with art. We're going to be doing, in the evening, astronomy programming. We offer overnights here at the museum. People can come and stay overnight in the building. Um, it's just an amazing way to connect with our community and offer a wide variety of programming that we weren't able to do in our old location. This is the area we call the Native American area. It's the Moccasin Trail. And this represents, this is a Native American longhouse, which is the type of home that the Native Americans on the eastern side of the country built. They didn't live in teepees. Those are Native Americans out west. Um, so they built the longhouse and literally they lived multi-generational. And as their families grew, they took off the front of the home or the back panel of the home. They built it longer and put it back on. So they became known as longhouses.
Madeline Johnson and the Kids Discovery Museum. It's a lot, the old one was a lot smaller, no sky level, one level building, wasn't all that fun. Learn about past things, how people lived, where they lived. Yeah, there is one thing on the main level, like you just put your, you put your hands on pads and um, it beat, and it's like a drum, and the mallet beats to the speed of your heart. So, sky level, there's hopscotch, hula hoops, foot ropes, different things you can um, just look at. You can look at the city below, pretty much. Uh, there's gardens. There's a fake ambulance downstairs, stretchers and stuff like that for it. Um, a skeleton of a dinosaur. I think bones of other dinosaurs. I, it's a lot, it's awesome. This is a lot of fun. Most fun I've had in this place that since the last time I've been. And it's when I was, the last time I went, it was at the old one, so. It's really nice.